you know, the first time I got the call about my dad going to the hospital over his heart attack, I was at the gym and, you know, I was getting my daily day pump. Like always, you know, um, for the last year and a half, I've been dedicated to the gym and, you know, every time I visit my dad, I was showing my gym videos and what I was doing, and he was always so proud and, you know, just satisfied. And he, he told me, man, if I keep doing this, you know, it's going to lead to something great. And that's just that ultimate motivation, man, coming from your dad or your parents, you know. I show my mom a lot of it, too, but, you know, I show my dad as well every time I go over there. And, you know, um, just I was getting my daily day pump, and, you know, when I got home, I got that phone call from Uncle Gil saying that my dad was in the hospital and you know I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Um before Uncle Gil had called me, actually Kimberly had left the matches for me on my phone and telling me what room number he was in, so um Man, hats off to her for just good communication skills on that part. When I arrived at the hospital, man, I, I just didn't know what to expect. All I could think in my, about in my head was every day wasn't promising. And I didn't think it was this bad. I didn't think it was this bad until, until I saw the breathing tubes down his neck it was crazy I didn't think it was this bad but he was in the ICU with breathing tubes down his neck and as I was touch his hand you know um it it felt cold it felt real cold and you know I, I just seen him fighting man you know um it was tough it was tough just to see him like that man just to touch his hand and feel nothing but you know coldness man I never felt anything like that in my life I never felt anything like that in my life and to um from my own father you know feeling his hands cold I just couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it and you know um I believe there's power that comes from the hands I mean when you touch somebody with love or anything like that there's power that translate through these hands and as i said many times before when i when i grab my son's hand when he grabbed my finger and you know I, I believe there was power connected to that man a spiritual connection so when i was touching my dad's hand you know i felt that connection man i was i was pouring all my love into him spiritually man with with my hand and I, my hand was warm his hand was cold but at the same time I was pouring my love and my heart into it with my hand my spirit and I, I was telling my dad I was telling him it's gonna be all right man it's gonna be all right what really shocked me was not even Maybe like, cause I stayed there the whole day. Me and his wife, we stayed over Jackie Senior's side the whole day, and it's just a tough. It was a tough moment, man. July third, and you know, um, the fourth of July is tomorrow, and you know, a holiday was tomorrow, and it's almost like you can't even you couldn't even get excited over the holidays nothing else matter you know um when you're in that situation nothing else matter man the holidays you didn't really care all you cared about is the person you love getting well and you know we we stuck by his side that whole night man and it was unbelievable no less than uh Maybe two or three hours later, they had his thing wrapped over my dad's head, man. So his whole his whole face was covered. His whole face was covered, man. And it almost kind of looked like a mummy, man. You could barely see his face, but you could see his eyes. And that was just scary, man. That really broke me down. I couldn't believe it. And just seeing his wife um, stand 
over him, stand strong and tall over him, like comforting him, saying it's going to be okay was just um amazing experience because right then I knew what true love really was. Um having your companion your companion by your side and that's what true love really was and i also seen kimberly shed tears i also seen her shed tears as well and you know i shed tears there was a particular moment where my dad's wife was talking about you know she was talking i believe one of her relatives on the phone and she was just really letting it out, um, saying how the whole day was going to be normal, how it's going to be, you know, they were supposed to go out to the store and, you know, and and then this, this happened and she couldn't believe it. And just the way she was describing the whole situation where my dad was just laying there lifeless on the bed and. It was just very scary and just hearing her cry, that brought a tear to my eyes. That's when I started crying because I was trying to remain strong that entire time. I was trying to, but I remember what my dad said back in the past that it's okay to cry. It's okay for a man to cry. You know, that resembles strength. It's okay for a woman to cry. It resembles strength. So don't be afraid to let your emotions let it out let those tears out because hey man it happens you got to be able to express yourself never hold anything in you got to be able to express yourself and that's one of the things my dad taught me is the it's okay to cry so it's okay